Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to deal more with the four corners. Nick, if you could just identify, uh, in our beginning curriculum, we do a lot of four corner drills, getting our, uh, just going back to the basic pock and punch drill, throwing outside strikes so they can either use a wusau or a tansau, and then low strikes so they can use a gansau. Let's just remind everyone what that looks like. So just doing a basic pock and punch drill. And then Nick is going to throw some uh, strikes that are more towards the side. They're going to be more like uh, shoulder strikes. Uh, Saul is going to either use a tansau or a wusau, whichever one. On both sides on the top, uh huh, and then on both sides on the bottom also, getting, getting a little more accustomed to that lower gate and using the gansau on the bottom side. So since we use this in our beginner curriculum, we're also going to incorporate it into our lopsau. So let's go back to the lopsau drill. We've already done the fox out to the two uh, sides up on top. So let's go through those a couple times. Just doing the lop and a fox out with the woo sow and then changing to the other side. On the other side also. And now we're going to show a strike to the lower area and the partner's going to use gone sow. So what Nick is going to do is he's going to take Saul's the lops out, and instead of just rotating it right there, he's going to move it a little more to the side so he can open up that lower uh, abdomen rib area where he can get a strike in there. What Saul's going to do, and this is just a cooperative drill, it's not necessarily what you do in a fighting scenario, but this is just getting the basic movement, getting things, getting ideas built into our system. So he's going to respond with a gonsau and he's going to punch. When Nick feels him go, to turn, to do that gong sound punch. He feels his body turning. Nick is automatically going to turn and go to a bong sao. Okay, we're okay, then dealing with the lower strikes, I'm going to pull my lops out a little more to the side direction so I can turn him and open up this strike right here. When I feel him turn and use this arm for gong sao, I'm going to respond by coming right back to bong and loop. He feels me come here, he turns to use Gonzo, and I respond with Bonnie Lou. This low strike can be a low palm, like this. Or it can be a punch. So now we're going to intermix the four corners that we have. I can come to Fox out on this side. I can come to Fox out on this side. I can come to Gone South here. And I can make him Gone South here. And then we just intermix these different ones that we've done so far. Remember that you're not necessarily trying to hit your partner. You're just doing cooperative drills, just trying to Occupy the space so they can respond. It doesn't hurt to, you know, make light, light contact so they know where you're at, but you don't necessarily have to be hitting the park for this. Then we can intermix the other three we've done already, the center line one. High on the elbow. Of course, we're still doing the fox out. 